Japanese role-playing games are some of my favorite games of all time. Things like Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy, and the Persona series. All shaped how I game. But did I go a long time not knowing that this term was derogatory? Hey y'all, today we got another discussion board and, and today I want to talk about the negative connotation that the JRPG word has with some developers out in Japan. And it was something I didn't know about until I seen this article uh, from the makers and developers of Final Fantasy 16. Um, there was an interview going on and they asked him how he felt about the game transitioning from a traditional JRPG to more of an action type game and is it still a JRPG? Well, he had some words to say. He had some, he had some feelings to share. And let's get right into those feelings and I'm gonna show you what he said. But first, please like and subscribe. We, we, we climbing on up. Let me know more of what y'all wanna see. Cause I really wanna make this channel a fun place to get information, talk about gaming, and just to have fun. But let me know, let me know, let me know. But let's get into it. So when asked the question about the development of Final Fantasy 16 and his move towards more action-based versus a JRPG, he said, this is, a, this is going to depend on who you ask, but there was a time when this term first appeared 15 years ago. And for us as developers, the first time we heard it, it was like a discriminatory term, as though we were being made fun of for creating these games. For some developers, the term JRPG can be something that will maybe trigger bad feelings because of what it was in the past. It wasn't a compliment to a lot of developers in Japan. We understand that recently JRPG has better connotations and is being used as a positive, but we still remember the time, like Michael Jackson, when it was used as a negative. He also said that the term itself is purely a distinction that they feel has been used exclusively by Western media, rather than any users or media in Japan. Even worse, the term itself seems to strike a nerve with some members of the development team due to instances in the past which is kind of wild. And I can let you know really how it got there. Um, growing up, I didn't really see anything as a JRPG. Playing Super Nintendo, playing PlayStation. All I heard was RPG, because back then, most games were pretty much cut and dry. You either had a platform, you had an action base, you had a shooter, you had a fighter, then you had an RPG. But a lot of people kind of note that it was the seven gen, the PlayStation 3, the HD era, is when that kind of connotation started. That's when people really started pointing out the media's negatives towards JRPGs. And I, you can go back a long time ago and read some of articles from other folks like Kotaku and things like that. When games like Skyrim and Fallout and Dragon Age and all of those Western RPGs started to come out, they wanted to kind of separate what it was because they did it somewhat play in a different way. JRPGs were traditionally turn-based. And the Western RPGs are usually, you create your character, you build your skills up, and you go on on this big adventure. Um, like I said, Skyrim, Fallout. And anytime a game came out back in the day, a lot of reviewers and a lot of the media would put negativity on the word JRPG by saying, oh, it's some anime cliche game that wasn't good because it was too, it was too anime. It was weird. And again, they said in the West, that was the only people that was really naming these games your RPG in Japan, you know they see these interviews, they see these reviews, and while they're making this game and making something of a classic turn-based game that they love, most of the time they're getting ridiculed because of the tropes that it's had. So I can see why he said that, but it's something I never really thought about until now. But how do you feel? This is my question for you. How do you feel? Is there a difference between JRPG and RPG? What do you call them? Or is it a problem with you? Like like you said, it's not negative today, but it makes you think. It really does make you think about how terms, racism, xenophobia, all that stuff still exists in gaming in ways that we didn't know about. And with Final Fantasy 16 being one of the biggest JRPGs, some folks even said that people don't really look at Elden Ring as a JRPG because of the type of game it is, a Soulsborne game. But it technically is, if you go by the definition of what everyone says, it is a JRPG because it, it's, it's from a Japanese developer, but me personally, I think that nowadays when I see JRPG, I do know what I'm gonna get. I know it's gonna be a big story, a big long game, and that's what I saw with it, but back in the day, that wasn't always the case. And while we're at it, what are some of your favorite JRPGs? And what games really put you in the mood to play RPGs? What are some of your favorite RPGs or JRPGs? And are you a bigger fan of Western RPGs or JRPGs? 
me personally, Chrono Trigger is probably my favorite JRPG of all time. I love Persona 5. I'm also a fan of series from over here like, you know, Fallout, Skyrim, Dragon Age, Mass Effect, but I think that their RPGs was, is what really got me into the big adventure, the big games, the long hours, a grand story. That was when story and innovation mattered more to me than gameplay because I could always depend on something wild happening. But that's all for me today. I just wanted to kind of talk about that. We saw that going on today on Twitter and in the gaming news. And just wanted to let y'all know about that, that little negativity that, that, that developers actually felt. And sometimes it's kind of cool to see how devs felt because it shapes the gaming world in a way that we didn't know existed. So again, JRPGs, are they just RPGs? Should we just name them just RPGs? Who knows? But in the comment section, tell me what JRPGs you like, RPGs you like, and let me know how you feel about the situation. That's all for me. Until next time. Bye-bye.